I said uh, that, that Iran was going to get Baghdad. I didn't mean physically, but they certainly, no, they're, no. they're going to have influence over Baghdad right. for years to come. There's absolutely nothing that we can do about it. Well, Mike? There's, there's, there's very little we can do about it. But, uh, General Hayden, you've just uh, sort of outlined a, a, a policy that the Vice President of the United States sort of described uh, several years ago. The, the fracturing of Iraq is evident to everyone. So you were talking about the only way we could maybe help the situation today, present day, is to implement more resources in a different, perhaps stronger way. So my question to you, sir, is Ramadi has fallen, Fallujah has fallen, Mosul has fallen, it's Memorial Day weekend, Section 60 will be crowded with the families of those already lost in Iraq. Nearly 50 years ago, the Secretary of State, the present Secretary of State, John Kerry, said of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee with regard to Vietnam, how do you ask the last person to die for a mistake. My question, not just to you, sir, but to the official policymakers in Washington, is how many more American lives are we willing to risk and lose in, in saving this, this false nation? Right. I, Mike, I understand totally. And I don't think it's about saving Iraq. I, I think it's about the reality of a radical Islamist state the size of Belgium not in the middle of nowhere, but straddling the ancient trade routes of the Middle East mm. and what that means for America's present and future, not doubling down on a bet in the past. Mm. Amen.